Okay, guys, let me teach you how you can convert an Epson L1800 into printing DTF film. This is not going to be the best looking method, but it's the easiest one and the cheapest one. So you don't have to pay companies thousands of pounds trying to make this conversion for you um, just to make it look a little bit nicer. But this one will work just as good. All you need is a screwdriver, a set of long nose pliers and something thin like a like a little metal spatula something sturdy and thin something like this right okay so the first thing that you need to do is to remove those little rollers and this is done to prevent the ink from getting smudged as it comes out and the rollers that you need to remove are these little things right and most people recommend that you remove all of them, right? In most tutorials, they all get removed. But if you leave these ones on the side, and let's see if I can focus. Oops. In these ones, then they don't affect your print at all as the page comes out, even if they roll over the printed area, but they still allow the page to be printed properly because they still grip the page. As you can see, it's right on the edge and that gives you the best results. Okay, so the way you remove the rollers, the easiest way without having to take the whole printer apart, is you grab your little spatula or any kind of long thin piece of metal and you stick it into the paper port. It's a little tricky trying to film. See, it moves, it moves freely. And you stick it under the roller so that, see, I'm not touching it anymore. Um, so that it's supported uh, from below. And then you grab your grab your pliers and you just grab it and pull it out. That's all there is to it. And it will look something like this. It will come on a little on a tiny little spring. It's very easy. And you can't really break anything important in there. It's purely mechanical, right? So you go and remove these ones and those ones. Okay. It's a little fiddly, but it's very easy and you can't really break anything. So the second thing that you need to do is to make sure that as the film is being printed, it comes out and it has something to go on that's flat. Can you see how this paper, I don't know, maybe from this angle is better, it falls down. It's not a problem when you're printing on regular paper, but when you're printing on wet, pretty heavy film, it will, um, it will push against the top and smudge. So all you need to do is to have some sort of platform to put under your film so that it comes out straight. Yeah, by the way, this is, you don't really need this part. Okay, and this can be achieved with um, any kind of cardboard, plasterboard, foam boards, piece of plastic, piece of MDF wood, um, whatever you have lying around your household. So now I put this piece of uh, foam board onto the tray and the paper or the film, when it's being printed, it will come out and it'll be flat, easy. The final thing that you need to do is to make sure that your built-in waste ink tank doesn't get overfilled okay you do that 
by running the waist incline into your own container as you can see here all you need to do is to unscrew this this little door you then drill a little hole in the plastic this can easily be done even with a sharp knife you don't even need a drill for this okay and this is the tube that this line with the red stripe is attached to instead of having the wasting run from this um, from this tube with the red line into the built-in waste tank you attach it to any kind of tube you have lying around this is old uh, aquarium tube that just happened to be um, lying around in my house you attach it and you can then run it into an old container which can be a two liter plastic ball in this case when you receive your brand new printer and take maybe half an hour to convert it you will need to fill it up with ink okay and it will be cyan magenta white white black and yellow you fill up these little tanks close them you pop this thing back on okay and when you start your brand new printer for the first time it will go through the ink sequence and it will pump all this ink into the printer you don't even have to do this syringe trick it will just work what you need to do then is to clean um, clean the head maybe three times and that's it you're ready to go just a quick note uh, before you start printing every day you need to shake the ink but you don't shake it like you see in some in some videos on YouTube because if you go if you go crazy it will introduce bubbles and you will have um, air bubbles going through the tubes into the dampers and um, eventually you'll have to suck all the air out with the with a little syringe so the way you shake the ink is simply by tilting it like this for maybe a minute okay the reason why you need to shake the ink is because white ink whether it's DTG or DTF is made using titanium and it likes to settle so if you leave a bottle of white ink sitting on your desk for a month you will notice that uh, the white pigment uh, the titanium will settle at the bottom and the top bit is going to be um, almost watery and as you can imagine when you start printing like that you will either clog up your print head or you will have really faint white so let me quickly answer some common questions um, a lot of people wonder whether they need some sort of white ink circulation system or special dampers you can buy them but you really don't have to it could be an upgrade in the future that you can do if you're happy with DTF printing but to be honest I've been running these for uh, let's think almost half a year now and I haven't had a single clog or any kind of problem as long as you use your printer daily and shake the ink or turn the ink um, you shouldn't have any problems I know this is a very crude way of doing this it's supposed to be very simple and easy that something that anyone can do at home without requiring any special um, equipment or parts um, 
of course, if you want to make it pretty, you can start installing special trays and install a white ink circulating system so that you don't have to shake the white ink. Um, you can pay, well, up to £5,000 now for somebody to um, rebuild this printer and turn it into a completely different system with all the little bits and bobs. Um, to be honest, we didn't feel like charging people to do this kind of thing because it only takes half an hour. Anyone can do this. Um, and quite frankly, if you are paying somebody thousand pounds to um, convert a printer like this and fair enough make it look maybe a little bit prettier um, you're being ripped off okay so this is the printer from earlier and I'm just quickly printing uh, a little pattern um, as close to the side as I can get it and as you can see the little the little roller is going straight over the area that's being printed and in a minute you'll see that uh, even though it has great control of the page it's not leaving any marks on the actual print i'll speed this bit up i'll do a little time lapse This is the finished result. And as you can see, even though the rollers went over the wet ink, there are absolutely no marks. Looks perfect. So there is no need to remove all the rollers and maintain the page control.